Hello, Matthew here with another tutorial on computer craft. Um, that seemed a bit too lively for what it is. It's only LUA coding. So you remember last time we put text onto a screen, you know, about a screen about this big. It's it's a decent, reasonable size screen, not too hard to make. Now, obviously, you want to do something a bit more interesting than put text on a screen. You want something to have some sort of functionality. Now, of course, this is this is quite a cool feature. What I'm going to be showing you today is uh, the function OS dot time open bracket close bracket. Um, this is a quite a nice little um, function, really. It, it, it's quite professional. You can have you can do a lot of cool things with it, um, and Today I'll show you how to do because it's it's quite it is really quite a nice one. Um, so today, so what you want to do is you want to do the same as last time, edit, start up, and by the way, when I do go down lines, I am pressing enter to go down. And I had someone say to me just today um, that you know the, um, <laughs> I, I'm I wasn't sure if you were pressing space or enter, and I was like, well, yeah, okay. Um, which is perfectly understandable. I didn't say that, but okay. Well, let's just get in to the code. And, um, so what you want to start off with is you want to set your variable again. So a monitor, obviously, you can set different variables for what you really want it to. But monitor seems just to be something nice and easy to put. And since our monitor is on the back, we put our wrap as back. So <laughs> our wrap as a wrapper's bar a what? I can't even say that properly. Uh, just ignore me. So then what we want to do is we want to go L mon. Wait, no, not L. What am I doing? What am I doing? Because I have saved this code onto my computer into a notepad document, and oh my god. Um, monitor. Dot set. Text scale. And then we're gonna put the thingy as say five maybe f no we'll make it four no no three um <laughs> well um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do while true do so what we, what we have to set to is just make it true you know we, you'll see the true in the variable um text details for my time in a bit but that's all you need to put for now. Sleep zero. Um, not really sure what this does, but it helps anyways. I just put it in. Set. Yeah, so pause. The, it's the same again. It puts the coordinates of where the text will be p displayed or where our time will be displayed. Um, so we're going to do a similar function as well so m monitor right but instead of putting say like hello stuff like that and then speech mask close bracket we're going to put open bracket text utils dot format time and then we're going to put another open bracket sign and go os dot time and then that's a function, so there we have our function, and I just put a zero instead of an O. I do that often, because I'm an idiot. And um, we're going to put a colon, and then put the true. So that's where the true is, so obviously mild true, and since we're saying it is true, it will do it. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to everyone. Um, since this is all the monitors that we have at the minute, uh, we don't need to put any more in the actual uh, body of the code. So we can just end that body of code, and then we can just follow it up with um, putting monitor dot restore. So what we do is control. It's easier control S, control E, and do that like lightning fast. Um, it's quite good. To just if it ever does flash backwards and forwards, I will just say that, and I can do that pretty fast. And as always, going to reboot. And comes up, you know, no nothing. Um, we have our time. 
Uh, as you can see, it's 20, so you can get you can, it's getting pretty late. Um, here, um, if I should I should have cheats on. So set time zero 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 zero. Damn it! Time. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Getting things the wrong way around. There we go. So let's see, and then it just counts from there. So it's it's very it's very snazzy. I don't know why it has that third digit, but you can sometimes resize it just to thingy, just to show the two. I, I'm not sure, but it's a bit odd. Anyways, another fun general computer craft function is you kind of edit on this after we reboot because the code cuts out from editing. So what you want to do is to edit this code again once you put it in. Is um, Control T and just hold it down for a bit. And it terminates the program. Um, this just enables it so you can edit edit it so the size of the text wasn't really up to scratch. So we're just going to use the arrow keys to move back to where it was and change that to 5. Control S, Control A, uh, reboot. And you see it locked us out again but that's alright because we don't mind. And see that that's a lot better size for what you want. Um, you could have it as big as you want. You put any value in. Uh, depends on how big your monitor is, to be honest. And you you might want it just a little bit, and then you want it massive. But um, that's it. That's that's it. And this this is like the last code. Um, it's engineered so it doesn't break when your server goes off or um, stuff like that. Um, so you don't have to reset it. And because when you restart a server, all the computers reboot, and if it reboots on the startup program, then it it'll just do it automatically so it's very it's very handy like that that's all um i am actually <laughs> i know i've done two chords but i'm starting to run out of ideas of things to do things about because I, I i i know lua but um not the best lua scripter and i would like ideas on things to like at least try you know you can sit, just shout out maybe variations of this um you want done so maybe like multiple clocks and you know um how to put text and a and a clock um you know variations like that you can sort of derive from what i've been putting down um but if you do need something to help tie it all together i can do stuff like that so just leave your suggestions out in the comments won't fly um that that's it um thanks for watching uh see you later